My name is Ruben Chen. I'm from South Lake, Texas. Paul and Silas went to preach the gospel among many people of other religious faiths. How do you suggest we help people of other religions and other faiths recognize the influence of the Holy Ghost in their lives? This is actually maybe one of the most exciting things about being a missionary and understanding how the Holy Ghost works is that as you listen to people ask a question or as you listen to people talk about a concern or a dream, something they've always wanted in their life, when it comes to spiritual things, right, the Holy Ghost prompts people to have these feelings. And instead of drawing an analogy or, or drawing a difference, the thing to do is to find the similarity. I've mm -hmm. felt like that before myself. Mm -hmm. You had that question. I've had that question. That's a great question to ask. Where did I come from? Is there really? I've had that question too. And, and when we draw together and we answer those questions together, then the Holy Ghost answers them for us both. That's the secret. And, and the doctrinal basis for this is a couple verses earlier in uh, Acts chapter 17, verse 26, that God has made of one blood all nations of, of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth, has determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation. In other words, we are all children of God. God is the children of the people of all nations of the earth, right? And he put us in different places. He put us in different cultures with different languages, but it's all the same God, mm -hmm. right? And so we share some of those same spiritual strivings and experiences and, and intimations because we're all children of the same God. Exactly. Exactly.